welcome back. So a pretty common scenario when using Godot is instancing scenes through code. Generally what you do is load the scene file from the hard drive and store that in a variable. That way Godot isn't loading things from disk while the game is running, which can be a very slow operation that will definitely affect the frame rate if it's blocking the main thread. So let's go over this example. Let's imagine we are making a game with lots of different dinosaurs. Initially we put all the dinosaurs in a dinosaurs folder. As more and more dinosaurs are added, we reach a point where we want to start to organize them into subfolders. The problem with using the load function like this is that if we want to edit our folder structure, we also need to edit the file path in every single place in our codebase. This can quickly become an unmanageable endeavor. Fortunately, there's a better way. By exporting the variable, we make it appear in the Godot editor, where we can set and edit it. From here, we can drag the scene file from the file system window and drop it here to the inspector window. By doing it this way, now as long as we move and rename the folders from here within the Godot editor, Godot will automatically update the file paths for our variables. It's a pretty simple change, but it can bring huge time savings during development. You don't have to worry about breaking things, you can just move and rename folders at will. Like, subscribe, and as always, Thanks for watching.